10 free throws here tonight. Woodside trying to turn the corner now takes a deep three. Got it. And the lead for North Dakota State. Give him an inch and he'll take a mile. He has been awesome tonight. He's got 28. One of the keys, ball screen right there. He just came off a simple ball screen, made K-State pay. Martin can't answer. Hoskins has got it back. Out to Stewart. Stewart open for three. Yes! That's the additional dimension that Clint Stewart has added this year. He is a spot-up three-point shooter as well as Kansas State's Cartier Martin. It took two shots for the Wildcats. Great rebound and pass by David Hoskins. Wright makes the switch. Big guard Woodside. Now Woodside not wanting to give it up. He wants to make the play, but now we'll put it in the hands of Winkleman. You can't let him get the ball back. Yeah, exactly. And Miles is going to get a timeout here. Timeout, 13 seconds on the shot clock. A buck 02 left to play. Wow, uh, this second half stand has been very entertaining. You talk about playmakers on both ends of the floor getting it done for both of these coaches as we look back at the three point shot here from Clint Stewart. But first of all, it's a good rebound. David Hoskins has the basketball, doesn't make a bad decision, makes a great pass, puts it right into the chest, the perfect area. Shooter wants the basketball there, and stepping into the shot is how Clint Stewart wants to shoot his three-point shot, and he hits a big shot to answer a big three-pointer by Ben Woodside. If Kansas State wins this game, that's the kind of shot that can really add confidence to a basketball team because they took it right in the heart with Ben Woodside, and then he bounced back and do exactly what you got to do. Keep fighting and go the other way. Say, hey, how about a three-pointer from our side? But a nice pass by David Hoskins set it up. Prince Stewart, a much better three-point shooter this year. And this game has had a lot of emotion from start to finish because it's such a big deal. Being around this city, they've laid out the red carpet. Anytime they see anybody walking around in purple, they're saying, how's your stay? We're glad to have you. This is going to be a lot of fun. And the crowd to the rafters tonight, only 6,100 or so, but here cheering on their team, very excited. Has a big game atmosphere, and it has been exciting here in the second half, especially since the Wildcats have come back from that 10-point deficit, and now it's back and forth. Stewart back on Woodside, 10 on the shot clock. Here comes the screen, they'll switch it. Now off to Winkleman, three to shoot. Winkleman's gonna have to force one up, leans in on Harris. Long rebound taken down by Hoskins. No need to force anything here as K-State leads it, and there's about a 12-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Nice switch by Akeem Wright to take the ball out of the hands of Woodside. Winkleman had to force something up, and now Bob Huggins will get a timeout with 21 on the shot clock. That's kind of amazing. K-State's better off when the switch is called for because Akeem Wright's one of the few guys at 6'6 that can move his feet and stay in front of a Ben Woodside. And then when Woodside stops, it's almost impossible for him to get off a shot. So the key is, can, after the switch, Clint Stewart guard Andre Smith? And that's what Tim Miles was talking about. After the switch has occurred, he went and talked to Andre Smith going into that timeout and says, if, if you get a switch and Clint Stewart's on you, you got to get down low, get posted, and get the basketball. But with only 13 seconds on the clock, they couldn't get to that part of the offensive set and had to throw something up. All right, his energy defensively has been huge in this second half. He's guarded. Uh, he's guarded all four of those really good players here in this second half. Whether it's on a switch, he guarded Andre Smith in the post for a while. And now K-State in need of a bucket to build on this one-point lead here. 21 seconds on the shot clock. That's right. You got the game in your hands right now. You control things. Run a great offensive set, score the basketball, and there's no way they can get ahead of you. The best they can do is tie. Pinnock, a fresh defender here on Clint Stewart. K-State wants to clear it out. Here comes Hoskins on the drive. They swing it around. Harris open for three. He got it! He got it, baby! And it's a four-point lead. Here comes Woodside. And they did not want to foul. Woodside for the answer. Oh, my goodness! He is tough! And a timeout taken by Miles. They didn't want a foul, but they didn't want to allow North Dakota State a three-point look. Ben Woodside taking a step back from the arc, knocks down a shot to answer Lance Harris, but the Wildcats still have the lead. Here's David Hoskins making a pass, then a great pass around the horn. Clint Stewart right in rhythm, 
to Lance Harris. The Wildcats up by four. Don't foul, but don't let him have an easy three. That nice. guy is looking to score. Nice little crossover there just to give him enough room to trigger the shot. So now steal or foul are the options here as Tim Miles discusses the full court pressure that his team will apply. Well, they'd probably like to take a chance of fouling Lance Harris because he's hitting less than 50% on his free throws tonight. Yeah. Not, nor not normally a bad free throw shooter for the Wildcats. Just two of six tonight. Hoskins is seven of 11. Martin's three of three. K-State wants to get it to Cartier Martin. Right, probably the last option will trigger it in. And they get it into Harris, and he's fouled immediately with 12.5 left to go. Well, that's quick three by Woodside. Huge, though, because even if Harris drains these, they've still got plenty of time to come down and tie it up. Both teams doing a lot of things right right now. Wildcats with 51 points in the second half. K-State showing a lot of confidence with Lance Harris coming to the basketball. North Dakota State out of timeouts. K-State's got one, and it's a two-point game. Now, you don't, you do not want to allow them to shoot a three-point shot. You really got to play off that ball screen. You got to get the basketball out of Ben Woodside's hand. Here's Woodside. Guarded there by Hoskins, who made the switch on him. Now Harris has got him. Steps in, three-pointer. Well, go. Martin's got it. This game. And K-State with a grinded out comeback here in the second half. What a help defense on the last play. Everyone showing, knowing that Ben Woodside wanted a three-pointer. Officials do not bail him out when he does the step in. And K-State fights and wins. 83-81. Ben, that's the third straight game. The Wildcats have scored 83 points. First time since 1997-98 that the Wildcats have scored 83 points or more in three state games. It takes all of that to come back and win. And we'll name our player of the game, Lance Harris, with 24 points. A big free throw at the end. A bunch of huge threes for Lance Harris. Our player of the game presented by Alltel Wireless. And Stan, North Dakota State's a heck of a basketball team, and it's a heck of a win tonight for Kansas State on the road in what may be one of the most hostile environments they'll play in all year. Yeah, hey, good job by Kansas State. They fought back in the second half, showed perseverance and toughness, what Bob Huggins is trying to teach. Bill Walker coming out party against Kennesaw State next Sunday here at 2.30. Let's fill the sandwich for that one. Wildcats win it here in Fargo for Stan Weber, Ben Boyle. So long.